I can tell you whether or not something is a sandwich using my patented sandwich or sandwich school method. As you can see, we've got a number of things in the sandwich matrix to go and look at. What we're gonna be doing is assigning mud. Mud is dirt and water. Technically, it really exists as a sandwich conceptually. I'm not advised eating it. And in fact, I'd hardly say it's a good idea to go and do anything with it at all. Just get rid of the mud. Throw the mud out. Remove the mud from the place it needs to be or doesn't need to be. Is mud a sandwich? Mud is layered by technicality. So that means it exists automatically in radical sandwich anarchy because its structure and ingredients are undesirable as a sandwich. So it'd be radical sandwich anarchy. So that's an easy one. Oh, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just distracted by sandwiches. Inside out peanut butter and jelly. The ingredients are pure, although the structure is rebellious. So it exists in the same area that a chicken wrap would over on the left. What does that mean? I don't know what anything means. I don't know what anything means ever. You think I'm not just saying stuff sometimes up on this screen? You think? You honestly think sometimes I'm not just proselytizing up here. I'm saying whatever comes to mind. This is basically my religious sermon and I'm reading for the book of Sandwichard. You don't get to choose what comes out of my mouth. I do, and everything is garbage. You shouldn't listen to me. What are you, crazy? I hope so. If you're crazy, you can come join the Discord. Now, a chicken on a bone is a bone that is sandwiching, no. The chicken itself is on the outside sandwiching the bone. It's structurally rebellious, but ingredient neutral. The structure is not correct. The ingredients are still a savory type of, of, of thing. You never get claps. I give you claps. That's what I'm saying. The chicken meat is wrapping the bone. Like, the ingredients are what matters in here. Would that not be a bone calzone? A calzone would exist in uh, the space of radical sandwich anarchy because it's fully enclosed. But the meat of the chicken is surrounding the bone. The bone is technically then the ingredients and the meat is the outside. So it'd be the, the kind of the same thing as what a reverse PB&J would be, except it's chicken and a bone, and that would be structural rebellious but ingredient neutral. The bone isn't part of what you eat. It's like a stick in the corn dog. I didn't say it was good ingredients in a good way. The structure is broken, but the ingredients are fine. I don't expect to understand. Is how about Taco Bell Crunch Wrap not sponsored a sandwich? A crunch wrap exists in the same place that a calzone does uh, because it's radical sandwich anarchy. Calzone would exist in uh, the space of radical sandwich anarchy because it's fully enclosed. Ah, uh, but the structure is incorrect. Chicken leg is like a reverse corn dog. No, because hold on, I'll get to reverse corn dog in a second. I've re I've reconsidered. A calzone and a crunch wrap supreme belong in structural re 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 structurally rebellious but ingredient pure. They exist in that way. The corn dog has outside of breading, inside of corn dog, and then a further inside of stick. So the stick and the breading are the bread, the inside and outside, and then the hot dog itself is the middle. So the bread in that case is the stick and the breading. That is what is sandwiching the hot dog. That would still technically be a sandwich. The ingredients are incorrect, but the structure is also incorrect. So I guess it's still radical sandwich anarchy in that situation. Hey Richard, we've got a sandwich. A bumless hamburger is radical sandwich anarchy because that exists and it's called Hamburg steak. That was popular before the existence of the hamburger was invented before the turn of the century. I went and looked it up after. It wasn't in the 20s. It was like right around the turn of the century in the late 1800s. But a bunless hamburger was a hamburg steak and that existed for years prior to the invention of the actual hamburger. And it's still a very popular thing to do in Japan. Is a cow a sandwich? A cow is a sandwich in the same place that a human is a sandwich, being in radical sandwich anarchy by default because there's hair on this. You don't you don't want hair on this. It's radical sandwich anarchy. Don't don't at me. That one's that that's that's how that goes. You finish ice cream sandwich? You finish the ice cream sandwich in the amount of time it would have taken me to finish my diet tribe of its sandwiches, so I'm gonna give you a clap for that one. I could use an ice cream sandwich right now. Let's play some Final Fantasy XIV. No, 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 no. Is ice cream a sandwich? Is the ice cream sandwich? Ice cream between waffles is a sandwich. So the ingredients are rebellious, but the structure is still... It says ice cream between waffles is a sandwich. Well, ice cream between any sandwich ingredients would still be. So thank you. But that would be the last one. So yes, it, it is. I want to play some goddamn Final Fantasy XIV. Hello, Vivina Del Masca, who has been proposing to me for the last 15 minutes. 